So, this means that the installation of the roofing is really super easy and done within seconds. Hello everyone, dear community, I warmly welcome you to this new video. It's great to have you back with us. Today, we'll be taking a quick look at the garage for your Luba lawnmower robot. I'm not talking about this wobbly thing here, but rather the original from Mammotion for your lawnmower robot, specifically this good piece. In today's video, we'll be looking at what we can really expect from Mammotion's garage, how it's constructed, and whether it's worth investing in for your lawnmower robot or not. So, I would say, let's not waste any time. Let's get started right after the intro. As usual, if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel for free and activate the bell so you don't miss any new videos in the future. The current prices are listed in the video description below. Thank you for your support. And with that, let's get started. In parallel with the already introduced high-end lawnmower robot, the Luba AWD5000, which is this good piece down here. By the way, if you haven't seen the video yet, definitely check it out again. I'll link it up here on the info card because it's absolutely amazing. Today, I have the original Mammotion Garage for you in a test. The question is, is it worth investing in this original Mammotion Garage or should I go for a cheap garage from Amazon? For example, this one for about $45. We'll get to the bottom of these questions in today's video. So first, we need to take a look at what this garage has to offer. That's why we'll start with the contents of the package. So let's open up the product box and I'll turn it around so we can see what's included in the package. As you can see, that's all there is to the package. In addition to the actual garage, which is well padded with foam inserts, there's only a user manual in multiple languages included. So this is it the garage for the Mammotion Luba. I'd say it's relatively unspectacular, no screws or anything else included. Just as mentioned, a user manual that illustrates the installation in detail and all of this in multiple languages. The cover should be attached to the device within a few seconds. And that's exactly what we'll be taking a closer look at now. How do I attach the garage to the charging station? Because the principle is not the same as we know it from traditional garages. The normal, conventional garages stand on two legs on the right and left. The new Luba garage is attached directly to the charging station. To fit, we find two recesses on the back of the charging station, provided with threads, and of course, on the garage, there are also two corresponding screws with large plastic coverings, so they can be gripped and tightened very well. So, this means that the installation of the roofing is really super easy and done within seconds. We can see here at the charging station these two sharp edges and matching it here on the roofing, two small indentations provided with plastic hooks. This means we now take the roofing and slide it from the front onto the charging station. Be sure to keep an eye on the screws at the back so they don't get in the way. This means we should lightly pull them out, hold them up by hand so the canopy doesn't tilt forward, and then simply turn the screws into the corresponding thread. And that's it for the installation, meaning the canopy is now in place. I don't think I promised too much. The whole process was super fast. I didn't need any tools and the installation was extremely simple. Regarding stability, the roofing also looks pretty good as I can apply a bit more pressure here at the front tip as can be seen, it's no problem at all. The two screws at the back ensure a secure grip, of course, depending on how well the charging station is anchored to the ground. This means that if there's snow on top during the winter, resulting in a higher load, there are no problems with the canopy. It should also be mentioned that the canopy is relatively flat. This means that if I slide the Luba completely into the canopy, it's completely covered. Any dirt is therefore caught well by it. But the disadvantage of the canopy is that due to its size and slope, I can hardly reach the lawnmower anymore. Here too, Memotion has thought ahead and given the canopy the ability to be folded up. It should be noted that the canopy can only be folded up 30 degrees upwards, no more. 
So please don't pull it up with force, otherwise it will definitely break. Therefore, a maximum of 30 degrees. But I have to say, for me, it's actually enough to be able to take sufficient actions here at the lawnmower. That means I can still easily reach the corresponding start button or stop button, as well as the power switch. What else is there to mention? Regarding the processing, both the canopy, the charging station, and the lawnmower make a nice, high-quality, robust impression. Only regarding the choice of materials, there could be some variation here. The canopy is made of polypropylene, which is the second most commonly used plastic. But this, in turn, has the disadvantage that it's not UV resistant. This means that unless UV resistant additives have been added here, which I can't judge, you may need to contact the manufacturer. The canopy might start to become brittle after 4 or 5 or 10 years. The surface then begins to decompose due to UV rays and oxygen, and it no longer looks nice. Regarding stability, however, it should not make a big difference. And that brings us to the final question. Is an investment in a canopy for the Mamotion Luba worthwhile? In my opinion, absolutely yes. To protect this rather expensive lawnmower robot well, all weather conditions, bird droppings, etc. are intercepted by the canopy, and the lawnmower robot is protected to some extent underneath. For me, a canopy is definitely necessary for such a device. The question now arises as to which canopy I should choose, either the cheaper one from Amazon or the slightly more expensive original canopy directly from Mamotion. I would say that this question can't be answered in a general way as it depends on personal requirements. This means that if I'm willing to invest a little more time and I just want a standard canopy in the garden, then that will be sufficient. On the other hand, the original Mamotion cover has many advantages. As we've seen, the installation is super easy and quick. This means just put the canopy on, screw it at the back, and that's it. Compared to this canopy, the whole process takes considerably longer. When you order such a canopy, it comes in individual parts, which you have to assemble, and the canopy has to be somehow anchored. This is usually done with these four bolts. There must be a way to anchor them in the ground with the four bolts. I don't need any of this with the original Mamotion canopy. Another point is the size. Due to the fact that the Mamotion canopy was directly adapted to the Luba or the charging station, it's naturally much more compact compared to the standard canopy. To make it clear, the standard canopy could completely cover the Mamotion canopy. As you can see, the difference in size is quite drastic, even though the lawnmower robot is already well covered with the standard canopy. For those who want to get the most out of it, they choose the last option, canopy over canopy. Okay, joking aside, the decision depends on personal requirements. I personally don't want to tell anyone which canopy they should really choose because both definitely serve their purpose. So that's it for this new video. I'm now interested in what you think of the canopy specifically for the Mamotion Luba and which canopy you would choose and why. Please write your opinion in the comments below. I'm very curious about your feedback. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please show your support by giving it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel and activate the bell to not miss any new videos in the future. You can find the current prices of these two canopies in the video description below. Thank you very much for your support. And with that, I would say goodbye and see you next time. Goodbye.